I'm so excited. Springfield finally has a vegan restaurant. I thought you'd enjoy the sleep. <laughs> I can eat anything as long as I pretend it once had a face. And eyes. You. Why are you both kissing up to Lisa? And for your information, we are not kissing up. By the way, Lisa, have you picked a subject yet for your most interesting person I know paper? The most interesting person I know is a white male. That'll go over great in today's climate. I hope you like blowback. Mom? Dad? I've made my decision. Frank! I'm writing about Professor Frank. He's devoted his life to helping the world through science. Say, uh, can you tell me if I came in second or third? It's best not to proceed down there. Professor Frank, I want to thank you so much for letting me visit you during office hours. His last visitor was the process server for the monkey who's suing him. Professor Frank, I'd love to know how you got started in science. Oh, science? Well, I was created by science, my dear child. My parents had great chemistry. Uh, no love, but they were chemists. The only way I could get noticed was through science. The world of Einstein's, I'm a James Chadwick. Who? Well, exactly. It's too bad your name isn't famous. I will explain cryptocurrency by clicking the link to TV's most beloved scientist, Mr. Jim Parson. Could a nerd do that? I don't think so. Digital data spread across multiple platforms from Shanghai to Grenada. In your wallet, I'm in your computer oh yeah and when one ledger book gets filled up we add to a chain of previous books that's the blockchain later glitches it went in it went in it went in it went in it went in, it went in. you saw it it went in frank coin the brainchild of longtime bachelor of science, Professor Frank is making a mint. Arnie Pye is live at the news conference. Frank Coin was just rated the world's most stable financial instrument, beating gold, the renminbi, and roadside corn. Well, can't eat no cryptocurrency when the grid goes down. Oh, I know all about blockchain. Again, not what you're thinking. This new currency has made Professor Frank the richest man in Springfield. You have the goal to call me Monty? Just because you chew my food makes you think we're on a first-name basis? Of course not, sir. I'll never do that again. Uh, Hi, Professor. I wanted to see how you're enjoying your newfound fame and wealth. I have the fame and fortune I've always desired, and yet I'm... Well, I'm as empty as a doer vacuum flask. You can get those pens! And so much more. Do they make a silencer for his constant nasal whistle? Mo, Lisa has offered to pay my bar tab. You do accept Frank coin, right? I'll accept any currency except the Albanian lek. I sunk everything I had in. Yes, come in. So, are you happier? No, no, I got everything I wanted, even the pen, but I'm... I'm so sad. Poor Frank, he's the richest guy in town. But he's not rich in the most important thing there is. Health? <coughs> oh, oh, yeah. Actually, they're coming in 20 minutes. Taking Frank to Moe's. Never seen a fat man move so fast. Got a cigarette? Not since we moved to Disney. Uh, hey guys, I was wondering if my friend Professor Frank and I could join you? All right, but we've been playing a long time. Don't expect to just come in and join a wall of trivia champs. Well, oh my goodness. All correct. Yay! I'm Too Tall Jones, and even I didn't know the answer was me. Sir? Oh, it's sir now, is it? Uh, sir, to make you the wealthiest man in town again, I've assembled a team of the greatest mathematicians and cryptographers to ever leave their rooms. They're here to develop Burns coin. And I've discovered some serious issues with this nuclear plant. By my calculations, the cracks in the coolant pipes are growing exponentially. Smithers, give this poindexter a McKinley rub. <laughs> People, laptops open, headphones on, Red Bulls popped. We'll get this, Marty. I, I mean, I'm a sick man, sir. I'll get help. Things I've done for that hollow boned horror show, that interview he did for Vanity Fair, I wrote all his answers. Like he would ever spend a weekend in Santa Barbara. And I'm going to write you a prescription for sycophantanol. Take one every time you feel like saying what you really think. 
Thank you. Listen, Professor, well, why are we hanging around Moe's Tavern when we could be somewhere good? Fear not, my new best friends. I will take you on a tour of Springfield's finest establishment. If you're poor and find yourself outside the door, just ask me to buy your drink. I'm hanging with the Frank. This equation, if solved, could make all digital coins worthless, including Frank's. Excellent. How long will it take to solve? Well, if we work weekends and bring in some extra help, I'd say 90,000 years. <laughs> ah. Amazing, Professor. You win again. Ah, this is my only suit of clothes. Now listen to me. Your friends don't give a wit about you. That is not true. Those guys are my best buddies. Fatso and Drunky and the evil bartender. Oh, I could it be that they're... Well, they're really just leeches? Come get some. Don't worry about what Mr. Burns says. He's a vicious old viper who knows nothing of the human heart. And every time I get a pony or make a friend, they get the hell out of town. Wow, well, you have lived quite a life. Yeah. It's not all bad. I had a jazz friend. <laughs> Who died. Don't worry, Smithers. If this doesn't work, I'll get some of my old Yale buddies in. Well, they're dead, and their children are dead, sir. Oh, my. Uh, at least it's not another billboard complaining about crimes I haven't solved. I need proof that my friends actually are... <coughs> uh, uh, friends. Hey, Professor. Boy, I can't wait to sit in the skybox for the big game today. I got regular tickets. Oh, that reminds me. I need to have a cyst removed. Now's as good a time as any. Yeah, and I gotta be there to say, uh, do not resuscitate. All right, now, now, the experiment is not yet complete. Let's just see here. <laughs> this time, would one of you be so kind as to, uh... Yo, it outsmarts old Gil. Go! Oh, hot, 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 cha-cha! Look, someone posted a solution on the whiteboard. Frank is ruined! So, who found the solution? Did I do it? No. And so, the equation was solved. Solved by the one person who could solve it, Professor John Frank. You really understand me, young lady. You are my best friend, Lovick. Oh, really? Well, beware. I lose everything I care about. Ugh, ten glorious days of peace. I was able to finish my dissertation. Losing a billion dollars means nothing as long as I see you again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't I fight alongside you in the war? Uh, we weren't on the same side, but I was there. <laughs> oh! Ooh, much better. Wanna be a boy? Can we talk? Can we talk about us? Can we talk? I feel like I'm Oh, baby.